Okay, so we've got a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra working, but um, let's see if I can do it. See, it's got double things and it's got lines going through it. So it's working and also there's a break in it right there. So we're going to change that out. First, I've washed this with alcohol and scrubbed it pretty good and I've put it in my UV light. Now I'm going to put it on the heater and let it, some of this glue melt off. Okay, so this S20 Ultra has been on the heater for a little bit. And I just want to show you something. Everything that I've ever seen on how to take the backs off says you take the suction cup and you pull it up and I don't know if I can get that or not but it uh, starts to come up just a little bit though here maybe that'll help so that's an option but I don't really like that option because for one you can break it but it's just hard so I like to do this little trick is I'll put some rubbing alcohol, 91%, I believe it is, and I'll just put it there on the seams after it's been heated and I pry it up just a little bit. So what this is going to do is it's going to melt your glue a little bit soften it up more and eat it up so that you can safely get this up easier. See, I don't know if you can see that, but it's starting to kind of come up. I purchased a new back for this uh, when I got the screen, so if it breaks, it's not that big of a deal, but I don't like to break them. So I'm just going to get this pick in here and see that went in much easier. I don't know if you noticed that, but and what you're going to want to do is just slide this pick all down very gently. And you use the heating plate and alcohol. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to be prying it up and I'm going to put some rubbing alcohol just to melt off the, just to melt the glue off a little bit. And then it's going to be less likely to break. So I don't know if you know, but the rubbing alcohol will not hurt your device. It's not going to fry up anything. It's not going to ruin anything like water. It just evaporates. So you're fine with using it. So you're just going to keep working that and maybe even applying some heat. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so we've got the back off of this. I'm just going to show you. All right, now we're going to disconnect the wireless charging coil. And then after that, we're going to take off the uh, motherboard bracket. So the coil is right here. We're going to unplug it and we have to peel it off. Always be so super gentle peeling anything off because it can always rip. These always make me so nervous. The 
it's just glued on and it just makes me nervous to do it because it makes a peeling noise and sometimes feels like you're gonna break it, but really it's not. Okay, so now here's the motherboard bracket. We're gonna take that off. Okay, now we have to disconnect the battery, which is right here. And then we have to take these screws out right here to unfasten the lower mid frame and that removes this lower speaker here. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so now next we have to just disconnect this display cable right here. So you disconnect that. And now here's the hard part. We're going to have to take the glue off from this. This back and this front are glued together. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a small seam right there in the front. That's where this comes apart. So we're gonna put it on the heating plate and I'm probably gonna use a lot of alcohol, but heat, I'm gonna heat it for a long time. So I'm gonna go put it on my heating plate and um, then I'm gonna do the removal, but there's a lot of glue all around the camera and stuff on the other side, of course. So you just have to be super careful and just take your time. So I'm gonna put it on the heat and let it sit for a little bit until I feel like it's good. And then I'm gonna come back and I'll show you what to do. Okay, I just wanna point something out really fast. So the adhesive down here is not gonna be very much and you have to be really careful because if you're messing around down here, that's where the plugins are. And the adhesive up here is gonna be quite a bit more and on the sides is gonna be pretty thin. And when you're trying to get this screen off, there's a camera under there. And so you want to be careful not to be pushing on the camera. You want to get your pick um, up underneath it or over it and not pushing on it. So just be super careful doing that. I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so we're done taking off the screen, but something happened. Here's what it looks like when we're done. So here's the screen. You'll see in the video, when I was taking this off, uh, the glass came off and this part did not. And this is the part that plugs in, but there's sensors and stuff in between these. So the glass came off, this stayed on, and I still had to take this off. If, and if you're not familiar with that, you might not know what's happening. And right here, there's a lot of glue. And so you're gonna have to add rubbing alcohol on that to make the glue melt and to unstick it or else you're most likely gonna have a hard time getting that off. So all the rubbing alcohol I was using uh, just gets the glue off, but it did come apart. So no worries, it's a full thing. It just, here's the new one. Here's what it looks like see okay so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna clean this all up get all the glue off so I can put new glue on and then we're gonna put the new screen on before we glue the new screen on we're gonna test it and turn it all on and make sure that it works before we glue it all together so if we have issues that we don't have to unglue it and chance breaking it again so the glue on here is still pretty sticky, and if it's not really torn up, you potentially could use it again. But I like to usually use new tape, and I probably will put some on the screen as well. So we're just going to get this all cleaned up and looking good and getting ready for the new screen. I'll put the new screen in. What we'll do is the new screen, this plug, here's the old one, it went right through there like that. 
it comes out the back like so and then it plugs in up here so there's the old one okay here's the back glass to a samsung galaxy s20 ultra it's broken it broke when we were replacing the screen which is very common you have to be very careful so i've purchased another one just in case that happens i don't like to do that but sometimes it does happen so what you have to do is you have to take this off right here it's just glued on take that off and then what we're going to do is we're going to get this pick this is all glued on and so you're just going to bring it around and you're going to very gently pry that up so that it's not glued anymore you see how that and it's just going to come out so what we're going to do now is we're going to clean this up get all the glue and all the crud off make sure it's all clean and then we're going to install it in this and then we'll have a new back glass for the S20 Ultra. Okay, so we tested it, it worked, and now I've taken it back apart because now I'm going to glue it all back together. So it'll go like that. We've got the new back glass because we cracked the old one. So that's always something that you have to consider. It's all put together. I've done a video of how to do that. And then we're just gonna glue it all together and then we'll be done. Okay, so we've now just completed the Samsung S20 Ultra screen and back. Looks all good, it's turning on. And there you go, all new.